it's DJ Kipling here, and look what I've got for you for today. It's a PlayStation 4. I was supposed to get it yesterday, but no. Amazon screwed it up again. It's the lesson of the day. Don't use Amazon. Again. So let's do this. We've got the player edition. Comes with um, a cat. Killzone Shadowfall. Uh, an extra controller. The camera. Um, and all the usual stuff you get with the PS4. So let's see if I can get into this box a bit better than I did the Xbox One box, because uh, that was not too easy. Let's uh, get rid of this little bit of tape here. Boom. That should be it. Simple as that. Let's lay this down. Like that. Slide this out. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's a couple of boxes in there, works a bit. Tackle that one. Yeah, what we got in this one first? Move that one over here. Um, pretty nice box. It even says PS4 in the cardboard. Pretty snazzy. Um, I guess we somehow I open this. Oh, there we go. What's this? This is a uh, Killzone Shadowfall. What looks of it? A game. It comes with this uh, package. It is. Not to be sold separately. And uh, we'll get into this section. It's all closed off. Um, well, anyway, here we have a um, PlayStation 4 controller. It feels uh, much better in the hand than the DS3. What was it called? The DS3? DualShock 3. Um, it's quite a nice controller, actually. Uh, definitely a much improved version. Um, still doesn't feel quite as nice in the hand as the Xbox One controller, in my opinion. Uh, it's, it's much wider than the Xbox One controller. Um, but the bumper's definitely better, but triggers still feel a bit weird. But it's definitely, definitely a much better controller than its previous version, so there we go. Nothing wrong with that. Let's get some of these other bits and bobs out. Oh, here we have the PlayStation camera. Now this is much smaller than I thought it was going to be. I forgot this comes in this pack as well. Um, so there, yeah, there's the camera. It's tiny. It's obviously nowhere near as good as uh, the Kinect, because that thing costs hundreds of thousands of millions of pounds to develop. This thing is probably just fruit thrown together for the sake of it. But um, here we are, the PlayStation camera. It's very small, very tiny. I have to try that out at some point. But there we go. And that's all that's in that strange little bit there. Let's put all this to the side. And let's have a look what's in here. Presumably this is the actual PlayStation itself in a very bland, boring white box. They could have at least made it blue. Or am I asking too much there? Um, now... I guess it's this side here, here we go. This is it. And pop that down there. Kaboom. Here we have another controller. I won't get that one out. You will be seen one of those. Lots of pamphlet stuff in here. I guess this is, um, you know, guarantees the uh, PS Plus trial and all that kind of stuff in there. This. Loads of cables. Let's see what we got. Got the standard power cable. Of course, there's no power brick for the PS4, so it's just uh, plugged straight into the console, and you're good to go. You got the mono headset here, kind of a cheap one earpiece thing going on. Um, personally, I prefer the Xbox kind of normal headset style because it's just a lot more comfortable to use. Um, but from what I've seen of these, it works pretty well, so uh, we'll have to try it out, see for ourselves. Uh, we've got a USB cable here for charging the controllers and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Connecting the controller up. An HDMI cable here, it's not gold plated, so I'm dubious of the quality of this, but 
gold plating doesn't mean everything of course, but uh, I probably won't be using this cable, let's put it that way. But it's nice that they actually finally include an HDMI cable. Now, the console itself, it's actually a lot smaller than I thought it was. Let's have a look. Take them off. And there we go, in its um, sealed thing. How do you get this off then? Just peel it off. And there it is, the PlayStation 4. Um, it's quite a similar design in terms of the glossy and matte style thing of the Xbox. Um, it's got a weird angular kind of design to it. Um, one thing I do want to have a look at is... It doesn't seem to have any wobble like some of the others I've had. I can't see any wobble on there. So maybe Wobblegate was all a lie after all. But mine definitely doesn't seem to have much of a wobble going on there at all. But I've already put fingerprints all over it trying to wobble it. It looks quite nice, you've got the light bar down the centre there, you've got the PlayStation logo there. You can of course have it vertical if you wish. Um, I believe it's that way up. So if you want it vertical you can do that. Uh, PlayStation 4 logo on the bottom there as well. So there we go, uh, what have we got on the back? We've got the optical digital out, the HDMI out port, um, an aux port, and a LAN port, which is obviously your Ethernet, and of course the power port there. Is there any USB on the front? There's a couple of USB ports on the front as well, which is something I like to see, because the Xbox doesn't actually have any ports on the front itself, which is kind of annoying. The only one... Um, sort of near the front is on the side of the console, which seems kind of odd to me. I would have thought they would have at least put a couple on the front, but there we go, at least PlayStation has got that, which is cool. So there we go, that's the console. Um, we've got the controllers. Definitely a very nice feeling controller. Look forward to giving that a go. We've got the, all the cables, and we've got the camera. And we've got the game there, the Killzone game. So there we go, I'll get this all set up, and we'll um, get playing with it I guess. So thank you very much for watching this unboxing of the PlayStation 4. Player's Edition. Indeed. So thank you very much, and we'll um, check back soon for more videos. Bye!